Welcome back to Tech is Easy. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you what exactly is digital well-being. So digital well-being had come on stock Android phones a couple of months ago and now I'm going to explain to you everything that you need to know about this app. So let's get started. So I'm going to open this app. So basically what the app does is that it gives you information about how much you use your phone like how many times you unlock it, receive notifications and this gives you ways to reduce your phone usage and disconnect. So you can see they have bedtime mode, focus mode and they also have parental controls which is a great way to control your child's screen time. So on the home page, you can first see your screen time for the day. So if I just click on this 2 hours 9 minutes, you'll get a list of all the apps which you've used today. And you can see your screen time over the past few weeks. So if you just swipe on the right and you can see how my screen time is varying. So now if you want to reduce the time you spend on an app, you can just click on this button on the right next to the app. So now for YouTube, if I want to reduce the time I spend on it, I could set a timer which will reset at midnight. So I could keep 1 hour 30 minutes. So now after 1 hour 30 minutes, the app will get disabled. And to enable it, I have to come back over here. So now I'll click on OK. And you can see it said that an app timer set for 1 or 30 minutes. So you can do this for all the apps on your phone. So now I'm going to show you what different things you can see on this. So now if I just click on this arrow next to screen time, I can see the notifications received and the number of times I've opened my phone. I've received 74 notifications and you can see from which different apps I've got them. And if I go to times opened, you can see the number of times I've opened my phone today. I'm going to show you what's bedtime mode. So click on it. What bedtime mode does is that it will silence your phone and remove the screen color at bedtime. And you can decide how you want it to turn on. It can be based on a schedule. So if you click on that, you'll have to add the time approximately when you go to sleep and wake up. You can also keep it while charging at bedtime. So that's up to you, but I'm going to show you how to customize it. So over here, when bedtime mode is on, you can keep do not disturb. So then your phone will be muted and you won't receive any calls or notifications. And you can also keep grayscale mode on. So this will remove the screen color, which is better for your eyes. So how this works is that at 11 p.m. every night, the do not disturb and grayscale will turn on and it'll turn off at 6.30 a.m. So now I'll go back and I'll show you what's focus mode. So what focus mode does is that it disables the apps which you decide to reduce the screen time. So I'll select Instagram and YouTube as the distracting apps and then I'll click on set a schedule. Then click on start to change the time that it starts at and click on end to change the time that it ends at. So once you've changed the time and the days, you have to click on set and focus mode will turn on. So now, from 9am to 5pm on the weekdays, I won't be able to use Instagram on YouTube. So this will greatly help to reduce your screen time. And if you want to take a break, all you've got to do is click on take a break and then you can keep it for 5 minutes, 15 minutes or 30 minutes. So if I click on 5 minutes, it's saying that I'm on a break and I can quickly use YouTube and Instagram. And the last feature is parental controls, which I feel is of great help, so I'm going to make a separate video on this. But I'll just tell you basically what this is. It allows parents to control their child's screen time. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for watching.